Uh, welcome everyone to the Historic District Commission meeting. It's Tuesday, October the 20th, and it's 6 o'clock. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived, by those present and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. <clears throat> Can I get a roll call, please? Luke Mancini. Connie Soul. Jason Bouchard Naraki. And Kristen Cantara Oliveira. Uh, we have currently three open seats. Do we have any uh, public input? Not, not yours, but no. Okay. We have no public. We have no public hearings and determinations uh, right now. Does someone want to? Um, I'd like to make a motion to move um, new business to uh, up on the agenda before old business. Okay. I'll second that. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Motion carries. So first order of new business is 669 Rock Street, permission to build a shed in the yard. So if you want to come down. Mm -hmm. yep. And just state your name and address for the record. Please. Yep, my name is Leo St. Dennis. I reside at 669 Rock Street, Fall River, Mass. Okay, so we received your application for the shed. Does anyone want to start? Yeah, I can start. Okay. I don't mind. Um, you, you're saying you're replacing a shed in the backyard that was taken down by a fallen tree. Correct. Um, was that shed um, there when you purchased the house? The no, no, it was built. I'm sorry, I apologize. Uh, no, that's it was okay. built when I purchased the house um, during the renovation. That, that so you built one prior? Um, it was like a, another do-it-yourself shed from Home Depot. Okay, so there was one that you placed on the property on the that was destroyed by a tree limb. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was uh, behind a fence that was also taken down with the tree. So the fence isn't there now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just, uh, you go ahead and continue. You mentioned the property line. Um, yeah, uh, did you do your property um, a survey of the property to, um, to, to see what your property line was? When I purchased the land, it was already done. I, I believe it was a mass-owned house that I did a 20K3 renovation loan with. Um, I do have it scheduled this week to have it done again because somebody did pull up all of the, the stakes. Um, it's scheduled, it was scheduled for the 21st tomorrow, but I haven't received a call. Okay. Um, they did say with the rain that they'll give me a 24-hour uh, heads up because they are behind. So that is scheduled this week. Okay. Is there any reason why you didn't approach uh, this commission before you went ahead and built or purchased uh, sheds? Quite frankly, I didn't, I, I didn't know and I do apologize. Um, with the first shed, when I had the builder's permit, nobody actually approached me and told me that I couldn't build the shed. Um, so it was up for over a year. Um, my father has PTSD. He did 26 years in the service. Um, and one of the, his projects is to keep him busy around the house um, because of the whole COVID thing. Everything's been flaring up. Um, one thing that happened this year is the, the neighbor tried to commit suicide. And she um, was found underneath my back staircase, hidden between all of the lawnmowers. Um, so my dad, he kind of has like a passion for his belongings. And he's kind of just frightened that somebody might take it or, or run off with it. So he went out and purchased a shed and started to build it, unaware of that we needed to pull a permit for the, uh, from the Historical Society. So, um, so it kind of, uh, he did it while I was working. And then he was approached by, I believe, someone from the uh, building committee and told us that we had to pull a permit. So, um, we've kind of stopped there, so we haven't painted it or done anything yet because we wanted to know um, where we would start off first here and then continue it. So, 
you you realize that the property or that building is just doesn't fit in the neighborhood. It's a texture 111 building. It sits out there in the middle of the yard. Mm -hmm. um, is it so would I have to put like siding on it or is there something that I can make it dress it up to look better? I, I do paint it. I, I was planning on painting it, the color scheme of the house with some trim and maybe some lattice to make it kind of look the same. Is that is that acceptable or would you is there a reason like you wouldn't want to like move it over so it's not like in the middle of everyone um, um, in the middle of a like um like three four properties actually like it's sitting like out in the open so like say more in the backyard um okay so like not visible from front street you're saying well not visible from rock well. and minimize the the visibility from I, I would be open to moving it that yeah. it, I have no problem with that I do know there is a utility pole in the middle of my yard as well so it's kind of that's why we put it there mm -hmm. um, to be able to move the John Deere in and out and I figured I would probably put a fence back up so I didn't I wanted to put the shed up to secure my belongings first yeah. before I could get a, another fence up and the, request that through the historical district the uh, the city provisions they, they vary the building codes vary for property line setback, mm -hmm. uh, but the property line setback for a shed in the city of Fall River is four feet from a property line. Okay. Uh, that is definitely not, that's almost right on the line on the French Street side. On the French Street side, okay. Yeah, um, so I do have the severe coming in, so I wanted to get that in as well so I can, I can move it away from that as well. Mm -hmm. And then the only thing that I, um, I think that contributes to like the, um, you know, not looking appropriate is it not being level. So like it's sitting on the property, but it's not level. It's crooked. Like if you look at it from um, French Street side, mm -hmm. it's not level. I don't know if it's level inside, so. It is level inside, but it's kind of, th that area is a bit of a hill. Yeah. Um, there used to be some it's shrubs there that the tree to... also mm -hmm. took down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, level it four feet away from the property line. Sorry, I'm just making a mental note. So normally it would be like you could, you could put, put it, because it's not just a city ordinance regarding how far it is away from property lines. It's a year in a 40 seat district, so it has other ordinances, and it's a very small district. So anything visual from the street is when it becomes um, more of an issue okay. versus. If I were to move it towards the middle of the yard against the back property line, four feet from uh, that property line, is mm -hmm. that acceptable? I have an issue with the building itself being texture 111 when there are numerous buildings, designed buildings that would actually uh, accommodate the decor and the age and the area that, you, that you're putting it in. Uh, the Texture 111 building with some plain batten on the side and that's it. And it's, it, it just doesn't blend with the neighborhood at all. And that's why the, the regulations, which are very, very, very mild, Mm -hmm. on our 40C district uh, does request that it's, that you put things like that out of sight. Okay. In your case, it's very difficult because you're wide open from French Street mm -hmm. and you're wide open from uh, Rock Street. So uh, you have a, a little problem and you got the set of stairs that go down the back. You'd almost have to put the shed under the, under the stairs. Under the stairs, okay. And again, that that shed being texture 111, uh, you know, they've got them with various sidings that uh, that accommodate mm -hmm. uh, the area and, and, the, and the vintage of the building. If I sh can shingle it to make it match the, the shingle work that I have in my house, mm -hmm. is that acceptable as well? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Like clapboard or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah I would. I can you have a beautiful home. Thank yes. you. I've it is. spent quite a bit restoring it to get <laughs> yeah, it back no, to where it is. Yeah, it's a beautiful home. So, and and, um, we're, and we're, we're not here to harm you, believe me. We want to assist. Mm -hmm. But also by getting others to conform to the bare minimums, it takes your property and raises the yeah. valuation also. And I, was, I apologize. I was unaware of, you know, the whole ordinance and stuff like that. Because 
where, where I lived on June Street and Maple Street, we, we didn't have these. Um, and my dad kind of just thought with, with the last shed being there that he could just build one. And um, he kind of did it while I was working, so I do apologize. Um, and I can, I can certainly, I, I'm here to address it. I'd like to get fixed, whatever, whatever regulations I need to you know, improve it or move it, um, I'm open to. Um, I do know that it's kind of getting cold, so if, if I could do it sooner, the better. Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. That's why I'm here, to see if I can get the building permit and, and complete yeah. that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. I actually have next, not next week, but the week after off, a whole full week. So if, if I could get it you know, within two weeks done, mm -hmm. if that's acceptable, um, I'll spend my whole time mm -hmm. on I think so. It's my I birthday. We week, understand. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I think, too, like, besides the, the um, clapper, like you're saying, I think painting it, the color scheme of the house would, would actually would look blend. really, yeah, mm -hmm. it would look I, nice. Well, I it did, would blend in more. You know how, like, I have the front porch. It's kind of the dark red. So mm -hmm. I wanted to buy a lattice through the red with the same trim, make it orange and the doors the dark red mm -hmm. and, and still get some of that gold in there as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm happy to, like, I, I'll shingle the thing. It was more of my dad just needed something to keep him off of what's going on. Right. Um, I've been helping him the last few years, you know, to try to get away from all the things that he's he's gone through um, and it, the house has been great for him because it, it's one thing that he can <laughs> continue to work and stay busy and uh, <laughs> yeah. we just wanted something for the snow blowers mm -hmm. the, the the John Deere the, yeah. the gas mower and to keep the containers out of the basement out of the house yeah um, well so Let's. What is your game? What would your game plan be at this point? Mm -hmm. um, be, so be, be specific so we can. Like so we can, we can vote on yeah, it. Yeah. So yeah. we can take a vote and and feel comfortable that we're moving in the right direction. So this week I have a surveyor coming in. I'm going to get the land. I have um, metal stakes and wooden stakes being put in. Um, so I'll make sure that I clear whatever boundaries I need to clear for the building permit. Um, if I have to move it outside of the um, the area and probably towards the back. I do have, the, you know, the ability and the equipment to move some to, to move the shed, and I'll, I'll, I'll level it out when I when I place it. Um, if you'd like, I, I'm definitely going to paint it. Um, I was going to do the trim work, everything to kind of match the house. If you want, I know that the material needs to be upgraded. So if you're allowing me to at least buy a couple bundles of shingles, I'll shingle everything, um, and then paint it to the color of the house. Um, there are some kind of designs, so maybe if I can incorporate the designs like the. The peak of mine is kind of rounded, um, and then it has some kind of like uh, points. I don't know the actual terms of these words, but I can kind of mimic that as I as I build the shed, mm -hmm. and it'd be something my dad and I can kind of keep busy with. Mm -hmm. You're a good son. I've tried. <laughs> Let me just uh, say that. My parents lost their house. My dad, as a civilian, was a diesel mechanic. Got seven tears in his shoulder. He lost his house. So um, I work for Ocean Spray um, in the tech department. Um, I've spent you know the last few years of my life building my credit up, and the one thing I could do to repay back my family is I bought them a house. So I murdered everything, you know. That's why I'm here. Um, so I just wanted to do right with my dad, but I also I need to abide by the cities. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I guess I hear that you're going to get off the property. Once you find your property line, you're going to move it so that it's situated uh, mm -hmm. in, in conformance with the city ordinances. And then you're going to push that back a little bit because right now it is right in the middle of, if, if, it just doesn't look well at all. It's, mm -hmm. you know, and so you're talking about pushing it back towards that what was once a beautiful tree. Yeah, it, it, I'm sure it was. If, you know, that thing, it, it's massive. I've asked the neighbors about, you know, if they want to split it and stuff like that, but I haven't, you know, nobody wants to. It's, it's, I've got quoted for like $10,000 to take that tree down because it's, yeah. it's dying. Um, I would like to eventually fence all of that off if, if one day I can't afford to get rid of the tree because um, it does look like a, a bit of a safety hazard. So Yes. Um, you know, that tree was certified once. It was the oldest beech tree when I, uh, in Massachusetts. When I bought the house, um, they didn't actually tell me, you know, the quality of the tree, but I've had an arborist look at it, and he, he said that there's, there's just like no way of coming back. Oh no, there so. isn't. I'm just giving you a little history. Yeah. When we had a 
a tree it, warden. Is She's, it the biggest or the widest ones on Rock, uh, Rock Street? I no, it was the widest, like the widest. Um, in the in city. The state, in the state. Yeah. No, I think it was in the state. state. In the they state. said about yeah. 22 feet, I think, when they uh, measured oh. it. 22 feet in circumference. So. That's, That's pretty it's cool. Huge, yeah. Were you owner when bad. that, a good portion of that tree collapsed? Um, I was, yes. Mm -hmm. you, you were the owner? I was the owner. Um, so it, I guess the way that it, it's an act of God, so they had to split the cost mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the tree falling. So I, me and the neighbor, we split the cost of removing the branch. You um, mentioned you have a utility pole. Mm -hmm. I do. Um, you can see it in one so of the pictures. There's no lines on any of the houses. It just sits in my yard, and it is crooked. It just sits there. Um, the safety wire on is very loose. Okay. There, there's, it should be removed. I've called Verizon. They told me that to call the city. The city gave me like a four thousand dollar bill of backed up cable and wire fees, and I had to prove that I was a new homeowner. Um, so then they kind of squashed all of that, but n nobody's helped me try to remove the pole. Because the utilities are all underground in that area, so it's, it's just, just a phone line. And it honestly, there's another yeah. pole right on the neighbor's yard, like right on the line. So I don't know. I think maybe when the tree fell originally, they just put the pole in the middle of the yard. Do you know if um, the gentleman from the city went by? Remember I talked to you? I remember you that. Um, to... I, hadn't, I hadn't seen anybody come by a, a day or two after that. Um, right. Usually my dad's good with that, but he said he didn't see him. you got to get that. I'll have to ask him because yeah. I asked. That's I did talk to Chris yeah. Gallagher about going by, and he said he was going to go by and take a look because he said that it should be. Verizon that that they they own the pole. It's there not, should be a tag a on there that will give you. Um, it's yeah, missing numbers, but I think I can kind of make out like the there's like dirt on it, so you can kind of make out the numbers. There should it, be a metal tag. Yeah. What, what happens is that half of the poles in the city <coughs> are owned by the utility company, and the other half are owned by the utility. At that time, it was NET, mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know where those utility telephone poles have shifted to over the change of, mm -hmm. of, of time. But it, you, that would give you a good starting point. And if it's the utility company, well, they're still active, so you could get over there. Okay. Uh, even though the pole has no utility lines, it mm -hmm. could very well be their pole. Uh, because, again, I'm, re I'm being repetitive, but mm -hmm. half the city was telephone, half of the city was... Uh, Util okay. uh, telephone, util um, uh, so did lighting Chris utility. About that? Get out here. I did talk to Chris. And he said it, I talked to him um, right after I talked to him, and he said he was going to go by like in the next couple of days and take a look at it. Has he yet? You know? I'll Not that I've tomorrow. seen. All right. If yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, Verizon said something about if it's their pole, they won't touch it if it's not their lines. Um, I think that's the original <laughs> answer I got. <laughs> so. Yeah, this that's reminds me of like that makes no sense. Um, those uh, what are those big round Mickey Mouse ears? I call them all the time and get put on the house. Oh, the uh, dish, the, the dish uh, yes, satellites. Yeah, the dish. yeah, once you get one, and <laughs> they won't come and remove it. No. It's all on you. It's like, he, yeah. But okay, so are so there live wires that go no. to it? Um, there's, they're all telephones, so I know that they're low voltage. The neighbor that was is renovating now, they took the line off when, when the, a branch fell and yeah. hit it off. And then the other neighbor, when the big tree fell, he just cut it at the pole. So it kind of just, I tied it up so it's not on the ground for the kids, but it's just dangling on the pole. So yeah. is it hooked to anybody's house? Nobody's house. Okay. There's, so there's no logic in any of oh. this. It just, yeah. It's just there. Yeah. yeah, it's just there. Yeah. Like yeah, if you can so talk to Chris Ma and just remind right him. There anyway, so. What? There you go. <laughs> okay, so I'm being repetitive. So you're going to look at, um, at getting it in there the, according to the existing property lines. Mm -hmm. And when you find the original or the, or the new property line, you'll make adjustments. Mm -hmm. You're going to move the building and give it a little more setback so it's not sitting right in the middle of the yard? Yep. I'll probably, I can move it towards the tree back, back more. Okay. Towards the middle of the, well, the rear middle of the property. Yeah, so is that two feet or is that 10 feet? Um, I would say about 30 feet. About 30 feet yep. back. Okay. And I'd, rota I'd rotate it uh, 90 degrees. All right, so we'll put that in the document that's sent to you. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you're going to do siding? 
I can yep, I'll, I can do some type of uh, paint and shingle work. Or, okay. or I can, if you prefer a different type of siding. Like yes, a, I do. Okay. My, my, in order to get my vote, mm -hmm. you got to get rid of the texture 111. Get rid of the texture uh, Otherwise, I'm, I'm a no vote. Okay. I was going to be a no vote on this whole thing, but you've come across very nicely, and, and I can fully understand your, your dilemma. I appreciate that. Uh, and, and if you, you've, you put the siding back, uh, uh, you know, a shingled siding to match, because I believe yours, would, is your siding architectural? It's or architectural. It? It, so this, yeah, the wide ones that are, that are, well, it's little ones and then wider ones that are bigger. Um, at the top, they're kind of half moons or rounded. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then at the yeah. top, the tippity top, they're, they're kind of pointed. So mm -hmm. can you go back on the siding and do an architectural side uh, installation so yes. it matches the house? Yes. Yep. Okay. Certainly. And the paint. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, the paint yep. as okay. well. Mm -hmm. Be the I same. love that pumpkin color. I do too. Uh, it's we almost, so stunning. We were gonna change it, and then we decided uh, oh, no. orange is my favorite color. Oh, it <laughs> um, is. So I, I, I was in favor for it, but uh, yeah. yeah, we decided to keep it's it. It's so striking, so. though, when you go by, it just really catches your eye. Yeah, and it, I want to keep that outside really nice, but honestly, my things just sit outside there because I don't have a shed, and I haven't put anything in it because I, I don't, I don't want to get in trouble. Right, so right. Yeah. Um, it all sits there. But yeah, no. Uh, no, I think we're all on the same page, and I think we right. can absolutely work together. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me come today right. well, and speak. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. well, if, if you're going to do all of those things, you've got my vote. Mm -hmm. I've changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll make that. a motion that um, to allow with all the revisions the, yep yes. I, I wrote them all down okay, okay. I need to do and I'll so second the motion to approve and I'll second the motion motion and a second all those in favor to approve aye aye, aye. any opposed okay motion carries so um, you're all set I will send thank a letter you. to the building department and um, you'll I really appreciate it thank you okay. now you have yeah, something to do on your week off yes. oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay thank all you projects. appreciate yeah. it yeah. And I have your number, so yes. Um, after I, when you talk to him, and you can let me know what he said, and I'll I'll let you know okay. about the poll. Perfect. Yeah, yeah it'd be nice to get that poll out of there. Thank for you. you. <laughs> I'm Thank smiling you. under here. Appreciate yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> we look right. good. Leo. Thank you. Yeah, have a good day, Leo. Thank you. Again, um, I have the second to the sixth off. So in those, yep. that's my work. So in those nine days, if I can get a motion. Is he worried about getting the building permit? Huh? Are you worried about getting no, the building permit? No, he has it. He okay. just needed he just okay. needed it from us so now yeah. so yeah. he can actually do it now. So okay. I'm just gonna okay. send something to Glenn so saying he's, he's good to go. Yeah. He's good to go. You can leave okay. here and stop. How's that? Uh, <laughs> That's right. You can stop this evening if you like. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye. So do I need to make a motion to go back? He was raised, to right? Um, he, yeah, he, uh, you can unless you want to stay on open discussion. Oh, okay. Okay. Humble. And, you, you know, we all mm -hmm. make errors, mm -hmm. and he's mm -hmm. trying to do the best. And, and if he does that, puts it in the bag, mm -hmm. it's going to be beautiful. I think yeah. so. Yeah. I think it oh, will. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I think yeah. it's going to look really, I think, I think so, too. Yeah, appropriate, nice. yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so, yeah. do we... Moving on with new business, mm -hmm. we have um, open discussion. Do we have anything that um, we want to discuss? Open discussion before we move to back old to old business? business? Okay. I don't I think, think so. No, not anything. Um, oh, I do have some information regarding our um, design. Uh, oh, the, gu the guidelines. guidelines. Yes. yes. So do tell. we're thinking uh, November they're going to be coming out here. They have. Oh, good. Uh, we don't have a, a confirmed date, but yep. they're waiting. Um, I believe November. They they're going to start. Okay, right? good. Because I know yeah, Jim so had I know sent more. I'll yeah. yeah. And, and fill if you, you need in. someone from the commission, yep, I'm free. Yeah, I'm I not think going, we'd I'm, all a few. Well, of I think it. Be yeah, because I'm, because it's going through me on the CPC, so I have to Good. oversee it too. So I think all yeah. four of us could probably meet with her, with yeah. them. It's yeah. two, two people. Excellent. Two at a time. We can't all four because that's a, that's mm. a quorum. So it would have to be two at a time that, that could meet. But okay. Yeah. 
Uh, but anyways. Okay, then you don't need me. It's fine. I'll do other. Oh no, you can still, you can still, you guys can still do it. We just can't all four know, do it together you. because that would be a violation. Uh, yeah, so we yeah, can't yeah. do that. No, don't take but. it personal. We could also have them come here to talk to all of us at the same time. Oh, we could. We could invite them at the meeting if we knew when they were coming. Then. Yes. So as soon as we oh, know. Good. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else for open discussion? Okay, can I get a motion to go back to old business? I'll make a motion. Okay, I have a, a motion second. and a second to go back. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, back to old business. Um, merger of the Historical Commission and the Historic District Commission. So I, um, <laughs> you will be surprised. Um, oh. oh, yes, I, I, I got a call um, last week from Alan Rumsey, um, mm -hmm. Corporation Counsel, and he um, he had gotten the email that, Carrie, you sent it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had, she had asked me for everything together, because what I had given to the previous Corporation Counsel, Judge Macy, I don't know what happened to it. Um, so I sent everything again, and then uh, Mr. Rumsey called for, um, some clarity on on how things should be because he's able to work on it now but they are he is working very short staffed in his office so unfortunately he said he feels bad because it took a back seat but he he actually it's important to him because he was on mm -hmm. he was on the study committee right. and he was on the historical commission he was on the CPC mm -hmm. so he knows how important it is and so he he really is uh, wanting to work on this so he's trying to awesome. move forward with it so i i talked to him at length about um merging and um so he's he is in the process of working on that so that's where we're at so that's some good news finally okay yay yay um anything any other discussion on it okay no? mm -mm. And moving on uh, to 58260 Prospect Street. So, um, I did you reach out? I by did. I okay. Did. So, I, do you want I to actually, give an update? Or? I was actually uh, reached out to Carrie yeah. and got some information. Okay. Uh, wanting to ascertain whether this these letters had gotten out, and uh, yes, they were. And I guess we received acknowledgement. From, from Mr. From Prospect Street. That I'm not sure. Okay. No, well, they went certified. Is that right, the acknowledgement? I, I don't think I got the return mail back. Oh. But it was regular mail and certified mail. Okay. Because it's different the way you receive it back now. It's odd. They just it comes in the mail. And sometimes they just kind of deliver the mail. I don't. I don't know that the paper's in there to be honest with you, but okay. I sent it out so both ways so there's no doubt they got it right. nobody's responded no. no where would that receipt no. end up if it came back here where would it end up mm -hmm. it gets delivered to the department okay. from the mail girl maybe I could see if she could look that up possibly mm -hmm. but the post office should also have a record yeah. of it yeah mm -hmm. right if we could just track that down uh, please is there an actual tracking number with a certified? Yes. There is still, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. And then uh, I I spoke to Glenn, to Mr. Hathaway, mm -hmm. and he is. We all realize how short-handed they are in that mm -hmm. department, and we all realize what's going on in the city. They've got some major major buildings going on, and he is really strapped. Uh, he apologized profusely that he had not gotten to it. He keeps putting it on the top of the pile, and then it keeps settling in. He mm -hmm. keeps bringing it up. He was going to, again, put it on the pile and work real hard. Uh, what I what I intended to do tonight, and I will, it's, I'm going to make a, a proposal at this point, an ordinance. I mean, a um, a motion mm -hmm. that uh, we. This has been. A violation since October the 4th of 2019. Now we're into October of 2020. That's 12 months 
Uh, we've been actively, actively pursuing this for a number of months. Uh, the two letters were sent out back in August, and we have not heard back. No one has heard uh, back from, uh, I'm not using the name while we're being recorded, but I'm not uh, hearing, we're not hearing back. So uh, we have the ability when these things occur and are not act upon to impose a fine, mm -hmm. and it's a $300 a day fine. Mm -hmm. And up, that, to, up to 300 Up to 300 day. correct. And that was duly stated in the letter mm -hmm. to the owner on Prospect Street. Mm -hmm. And again, it's totally uh, being ignored. So uh, I would make a motion, if you, the board thinks it's appropriate, to uh, speak to Mr. Hathaway and implement that fine. We have the authority to do that. Uh, Maybe that would get some reaction. Okay. Mm -hmm. The house is up for sale. It, yes, it was just recently relisted. Um, it was listed as two units separately, and now it's listed as one. One package, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, yes, and the uh, description of the house also includes the upgraded uh, railing system on the front porch. So, um, yes. Hmm. But fines could also impede on the sale. The sale of the house. Mm -hmm. It certainly could. So I would make a motion that uh, a letter is drafted and sent to Mr. Hathaway uh, to impose that fine. We can make a decision as to what level we want that to be, whether we want it to be anywhere from zero to three hundred per day. Can I say something? Yes. Glenn's going to be the individual who imposes the fine. I mean, you guys are going to choose a number, but Glenn's going, it's going to fall into his department and his jurisdiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's is. part of the ordinance. Okay. Yes. It is Just part checking. of the ordinance. Yes. Yep. Okay. Alterations in construction prohibited without a certificate. Um, so enforcement and penalties. It's, it's in the letter that we actually sent okay. to um, Mr. Hathaway and we do have the ability to have him act on our behalf. Gotcha. So. And there's, if we wanted to stop with a smaller fine, uh, I don't believe that there would be any reason why we couldn't increase that. Mm -hmm. If there was no response. And I also think that if he came forward um, with plans and a date to um, return it back, mm -hmm. uh, that we could probably waive that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have no problem with that. I, I'm, I'm you know, as an option. Yep. I have no problem. No, we're not here to hurt either. anyone, no. but. Um, My concern is that we get that porch rehabbed and get mm -hmm. it again to match the, mm -hmm. match the building. Restored back. Yes, mm -hmm. restored to some level. Of appropriateness. Mm -hmm. I agree. I, I mean, as, as nice as the porch is, it certainly is not appropriate no. in a historic district yet. Absolutely not. No. So. Okay, so I have a motion. Um, to impose a fine for not for no response actually since the letter was sent out on August, August 27th mm -hmm. um, and actually in the letter it gives a 21 21 day response um, in a case where the Commission is requested in writing to enforce this ordinance against any person allegedly in violation of the same and the commission declines to act uh, the commission shall notify in writing the party requesting such enforcement or of any action or refusal within 21 days um, okay no nope. whoever violates any of the provisions of this ordinance shall be punishable by a fine of up to three hundred dollars for each offense each day during any portion of which such violation constitutes continues to exist 
shall constitute a separate offense. So that means that each day, and the last of that is the commission may designate the building commissioner of the city of Fall River to act on its behalf and to enforce this ordinance under the direction of the commission. So that is 39-159 um, enforcement and penalties. Mm -hmm. So it is there in city ordinance. Um, so if we, if we vote, do we want to vote with a, um, a figure or do we want to vote first to approve a fine and then vote on a number? I would think it has to be done in two motions. Okay. I would think okay. one to establish yes a fine and then mm -hmm. secondly to resubmit with a, a number. Okay. Number. So are you making a motion? To, inf uh, to establish, establish a, fine a fine for the violations. Okay, so I have a motion to establish a fine. Do I have a second? A second. Okay, a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay, so we are in agreement to establish a fine. Now um, we decide what the fine will be and a date for the fine. Um, I mean, we could go back to the original date of the violation. The, let me just read with the letter. Which is, but mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think. We did ask them to attend the meeting on September 15th. Mm -hmm. This was sent out on August 27th. And he has not reached out to you? No. So we have two options. We can either use September the 15th as a start date. Well, and also we need to, uh, uh, in that motion, we need to, need to put in a number. Okay. Uh, whatever that number mm -hmm. might be. But we could either do the 15th of September or we could start today. I think starting today would be fine. Um, I think that has given them almost two months to respond. Um, okay, I agree. So if we start today, um, so starting from October 20th, 2020 and we need a, a fee. Thoughts? What is your thought? Well, my thought would be three is harsh. Uh, Very. 50 is too soft. So if we went, say, $100 a day, that would just a recommendation. Okay. All right. $100 a day, starting today. So I'll make a motion that the fine be implemented at $100 per day. Okay, starting today. Starting today, yeah. All right, I'll second that. Okay, so I have a motion that starting from today, October 20th, to, uh, 2020, we will establish a fine of a hundred dollars per day. Do I have a second? I, oh, okay. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Um, now so we have the option also, as I had said before, to meet again when we meet again to waive that if he came back and made this right. Yes, and you could. You want to make that part of the motion? I think we, we, could, we could make it a separate motion and we could put it all in the letter. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so fee. Yeah, I like that, separate motion. That keeps these things separated. Separate. Yes. Yeah. yes, so fee to be waived if um, there's a response by is met. Um, but we should have a, a date, not you know like open-ended no that's fine but not just to to meet but I mean 
the porch needs to, the situation needs to be resolved. Right. It's, it yes. can't stay that way. Mm -hmm. Well, if if it's we could always put a, a date that that the construction should be completed. You could choose. Or we we could turn around and we could say the board has the option to waive this at any when the board feels it's appropriate. If and when the board feels it's appropriate. Okay, and that leaves it. And that open it leaves it open ended, and the letter we're going to be sending him is going to be imposing the uh, fee, mm -hmm. and um, you know, like uh, so, the fee. The board has the option to waive the f waive the fee at a time deemed appropriate if the porch is restored to historic. Um, to, okay. Appropriateness to meet the commission's, mm -hmm. I won't use pleasure, but to meet the uh, commission's requirements. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I. Um, if I put like a basic letter together, can someone just sort of turn it into something big? Because right now I'm really bogged down with CPC stuff. We just, we're starting in two days with all of the, um, the projects. So would somebody want to put that to, like I'll, I'll do this like basic thing and then just shoot off and somebody can build a letter around it. Okay. Somebody want to do that? Want to do it? <laughs> He's thinking. I'm thinking. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to word it. Um, if you send the letter out, maybe I can make it easier for everyone. Send the letter out with the ability to add or correct or change, mm -hmm. and then we could make our changes like I did in the red. Last one. Yeah. Yeah. Then we, we can we make. We did that with the last. Yeah, it just won't be in PDF. So you'll be able to yeah. make corrections. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I yeah. don't turn anything into a PDF until it's, fine. it's finalized. Yeah. I, I never save anything as so a PDF. So we did that with the last one, and that's what we should do now. Sure. Okay. We can make so I will, I'll start it. Okay. And I will send it to Jason. Okay. And Jason okay. can yeah. embellish in, sure. in that. And then once the letter is, um, is finished, then we can send it to Carrie to be sent again okay. registered mail. Yes. I would I would also like to suggest that um, we uh, send it, the letters as written uh, to Alan Rumsey. Just let him review that. Make oh, sure CCA. that. CCA. Yes. And to uh, the building inspector. I think it's going to almost uh, have to be addressed to Glenn mm -hmm. because he's the one that has to act upon this. Okay. So rather than address it, so we're not sending it to the homeowner? Is, I mean, no, it gets sent to him through, I mean, it's through the office. So it's from Glenn, from us. I would think appropriately if uh, we draft the letter mm -hmm. and we could uh, assign this to Mr. Homeowner here, mm -hmm. and then Glenn could just put a cover letter referencing that. Okay. Said, said whatever, yeah. whatever mm -hmm. Glenn feels is yeah. required legally mm -hmm. on his end. To get put into the letter, okay. uh, then you know, that, then I think that would be a most appropriate. Mm -hmm. You got it. Okay. Agree? Yeah, you yeah, agree. I think so. All right, so it will be addressed to the homeowner, mm -hmm. but then uh, the building inspector will put a cover letter. Yeah, he'll be. Uh, it'll be seat on our letter to the homeowner. It will be CC'd to Glenn Hathaway, Mr. Hathaway, and then also to our corporate counsel, 
Probation House, yep. Yes, that will be the CC, and then it will go to uh, our building department. It will be reviewed, and then he has certain language, I'm sure, that's required of his department to put on here. And he could do that in the form of a cover letter. And Carrie's going to be the the key person here. Yeah, no worries. No worries. I like that. Okay. Okay, so do we have any more discussion on that? Okay. Um, 670 Rock Street is coming along really nicely. Uh, yeah, 670. High Street? Uh, high, high Street. Street. Yeah, I was going to say, along. God, <laughs> yeah. it looks amazing. E even with the railing, I was like this, but it's okay. When you look at what was done yeah. with that property, I haven't been by it recently. So it it does. It just it looks so to, good. They really go did a nice job and the only way home also even good. even he went as far as the front window when the porch was taken down, there was a design underneath the which had been it was gone. He literally replicated it so that it was symmetrical. Wow. He's oh, put a amazing. nice uh, bluestone drive, a walk mm -hmm. on the side, uh, putting they in that. They escaped it nicely. You know, wow. really, really nice really. job. Very nice. But I mean, and the thing that I think people fail to realize sometimes is even though his property is looking beautiful, how much more value is it going to give to the properties that are right around him? Sure. He, re he you know, fixed his windows, he painted the storms, so he didn't replates I mean yeah. he really I mean it just it looks beautiful oh good yeah. so we're, we're pleased for sure okay so that finishes everything if I uh, our next scheduled um, meeting is to be held on Tuesday November the 17th um, it should be at 630 mm -hmm. um, and if that's it can I get a motion to adjourn a motion to adjourn. Okay. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, 6.50 p.m. We are adjourned. Thank you.